Maase chapter 24, And after five days the high priest Hanania came down with the elders, and a certain speaker, Tertullus, and they brought charges against Shaul before the governor. And when he was called upon, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Having obtained great peace through you, and reforms being brought to this nation by your forethought, we accepted it always in all places. Most excellent Felix, with all thanks. But in order not to hinder you any further, I beg you to hear us briefly in your gentleness. For having found this man a plague who stirs up dissension among all the Yehudim throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes, who also tried to profane the set-apart place, in whom we seize and wish to judge him according to our law, but the commander Lysias came along and with much violence took him out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come to you, and by examining him you yourself shall be able to know all these matters of which we accuse him. And the Yehudim also agreed, maintaining that these matters were so. And when the governor had motioned him to speak, Shaul answered, Knowing that for many years you have been a judge of this nation, I greatly defend myself, seeing you are able to know that it is not more than twelve days since I went up to Yerushalayim to worship, and they neither found me in the set-apart place disputing with anyone, nor stirring up the crowd, either in the congregations or in the city, nor are they able to prove the charges of which they now accuse me. And this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the Elohim of my fathers, believing all that has been written in the Torah and in the prophets, having an expectation in Elohim, which they themselves also wait for, that there is to be a resurrection of the dead, both of the righteous and the unrighteous. And in this, I exercise myself to have a clear conscience towards Elohim in men always. And after many years, I came to bring kind deeds to my nation and offerings, at which time certain Yehudim from Asia found me cleansed in the set-apart place, neither with the crowd nor with disturbance, who ought to be present before you to bring charges if they have any matter against me, or else let these themselves say that they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council, other than for this one declaration which I cried out, standing among them, concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you today. And having heard this, having known more exactly about the way Felix put them off, saying, When Lysias, the commander, comes down, I shall decide your case. And he ordered the captain to keep Shaul and to have ease, and not to forbid any of his friends to attend to him. And after some days, when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was a female Yehudi, he sent for Shaul and heard him concerning the belief in Messiah. And as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the judgment to come, Felix became frightened and said, For the present, go, and when I find time, I shall send for you. At the same time, too, he was anticipating that money would be given to him by Shaul, that he might release him. Therefore, he sent for him more often and conversed with him. But after two years had passed, Porcius Festus succeeded Felix, and wishing to do the Yehudim a favor, Felix left Shaul bound.